Hey, our next plant is number five on your list. This is Pieris uh, japonica. Okay, so Pieris japonica is in the Ericaceae family and uh, it has a couple of traits that are common uh, to a lot of plants in Ericaceae. The first is that it has ursulate flowers. Those are urn-shaped flowers, okay? So broad at the base and tapers up to having a, a relatively small opening uh, out at the uh, tip of the flower. They are uh, typically white, but there are also uh, cherry red ones. A, a, a cultivar called Valley Valentine was actually de developed right here at Oregon State University, and I believe was the first uh, cherry red a cultivar that was commonly available in the United States. Okay? So those white flowers in uh, uh, Pierre Stroponica are born in these pendulous racemes that you can see here. Of course now at this time of the year the flowers are gone but here we have a, uh, a capsule that's left on. So that's a dry dehiscent fruit. It has very small seeds inside and the fact that it has capsules and very small seeds are also uh, common traits uh, to many plants in the, in the Ericaceae. So they, they oftentimes are, are really quite prolific in their production of flowers, and this one really is uh, quite covered uh, during that time of the year. There are a lot of cultivars of Pierre Stroponica from very dwarf, variegated cultivars, meaning they have white and green uh, leaves, to uh, something more like this. This plant is uh, upwards of 8, 10 feet tall. Okay, so again, when you go buy a plant that's in a three-gallon container, it's not going to stay that size. So depending on the cultivar, they can get quite large. Another trait that's common to uh, many plants in the Ericaceae, it, it may be difficult to see in the video, but uh, the, the leaves on this species, on Pierre Stroponica, tend to be crowded out towards the tips of the branches. So it's not uncommon to see something like this where you have a uh, branch that comes down, leaves branch out, and then another bare branch, and then leaves uh, that develop from that location. Okay? So that the, there's leaves being crowded uh, out towards the tips, and they actually have an appearance of being whirled. Okay, so they sometimes can give the impression that there are multiple leaves per node, when in fact these are actually alternately arranged. Okay, um, no real huge pest and disease problems. However, we have seen with the emergence of azalea lace bug here in the Pacific Northwest, some cultivars of Pierre Stroponica have suffered uh, quite a bit due to that and they can also have some root rot uh, issues as well. Okay? But a really uh, commonly grown plant, you'll see it in multiple uh, places in the United States, it's a nice evergreen, gives a really good show of uh, white flowers in the spring, and uh, actually can have some really nice uh, pink, whitish, coppery uh, new growth when it comes out. So really this is a, a pretty decent multi-season, uh, not a four-season plant, but a multi-season interest plant.